hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in to listen and if you're just joining us hello you are also welcome this is boyos network please don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos hoodlum still ganduje's corruption trials document during the protest Polity Nigerian reports. Following the nationwide protests that turned out violent in Kano State, the state government has confirmed that thugs storm and severely damage the premises of the Kano State High Court, cutting away crucial documents relating to the corruption against the former governor of Kano State, Abdullah Umar Ganduje. Kano State Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf confirmed this to the journalists when he paid a visit to the court for an ongoing sport assessment of the damage. He was accompanied by the Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, Haruna Issa Dedere, the Chief Registrar of the High Court, Abdullah Ado Bayaro, in a statement made available to journalists by the Governor's spokesperson. Sanusi Bachos Dan Joaquin Tofa. Governor Yusuf described the incident as a mastermind and stage managed mission aimed at disrupting the ongoing corruption cases against Gang Duje, who is currently serving as the national chairman of All Progressive Congress. It is very unfortunate that the enemies of Kano State hired undesirable elements to vandalize one of his historical public buildings, with the mission of adverting corruption charges filed against the acting national chairman of APC and the former governor of the state, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, his families and ally, the statement read. The vandals reportedly destroyed several units within the high court, including the office of the state chief judge. The damages are estimated to cost more than one billion naira. <laughs> Another means of looting money. Okay, oh. as the assailants stole officials' equipment, destroyed office space, and set fires to cars and other materials crucial to the administration of the justice. Governor Yusuf called on the youth of the Kano State to refrain from engaging in violence at the behest of distractors, urging them to instead focus on the skill acquisition for a better future. I urge our youth to resist being used as tools for violence. The future is in your hands and you should concentrate on skill acquisition for a better tomorrow, the governor says. He assured the public that the judiciary, as a last hope for the common man, would be protected at all costs. He directed the immediate rehabilitation of the court building and the deployment of enhanced security measures to ensure effective justice delivery. We will not relent in securing the lives and properties of the people of Kano State. The judicial must be protected to ensure justice for all, he stated. The governor also expressed his sympathies to the chief judge, D.G. Adu Aboki, and the entire judiciary for the unfortunate incident, urging them to remain resilient in this pursuit of justice. I commiserate to the chief judge and the entire judiciary, who must brace up to cover what was lost in the court proceedings for the benefit of the common man, he added. He concluded by thanking the people of Kano for their continued support and cooperation with the current administration praying for continuous peace, stability, prosperity, and economic development of the state. <laughs> funny country and funny people. How can, they, how can the governor come out to tell us that all the information relating to the corruption case has been stolen? Are they trying to tell Nigerians that in this 21st century, there is nothing like flash drive? Because there is no way they will not back up all those information in different flash drive not just one in case that one get lost and make una no worry if not to get the information they should go and ask dan bello he will gladly give it to you guys dan bello for some time now has been busy accusing apc members including governor gangduji and his family members there is one he accused them of 20 billion naira cano treasury fraud and all of that and he has every evidence to back up all this is claimed 
So they should just go and ask him. <laughs> that one, I did not see that as an issue. This new revelation that is coming out from people like Dambello and so many others, you'll find out that ordinary Nigerian citizens are incapacitated. They don't even know what is happening. Politicians are using tribalism, ethnicity, religions, and sentiment to cage Nigerians. The few thousands, are they involved up to thousands? Let me say a few. Okay, let me just assume. The few thousands, if they are involved up to thousands, that have access to these Nigerian billions, hold all that billions of Nigerians in cage. From Bello's revelation, from his video, when you watch, you go through his video, the things he's saying that is happening only in Kano states. Oh God, you will weep for this country. You will weep for this dear country. The corruption is so high. It's as if they want to crumble the economy. They want Nigeria to fail. The other day I was watching Berekete, one of his videos. He said that from a reliable source, that he got information. Immediately, the presidency removed the subsidy and start allocating the money to the state government. That buried the change person told him that most of these governors came and they start buying dollars. And that was the main reason why dollar appreciated so much. So guys, I don't know what to think concerning what is happening in this country, Nigeria. How can a governor, Governor Yusuf, come out publicly to tell Nigerians that the corruption file on former governor Ganduje is missing they can't find it that is to say they don't have access to any other one because if they have access to any other one if or not come out come make sure so feel free to drop a comment with us and help us to like share this video to go viral i want our youth to be seen all the